Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflam. Oh, Kiflam. really? Oh! Kiflam, you have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready. I don't know about that. The truth is in email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as $5,000. Oh, 5000 What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflam, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality... Re name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. <clears throat> Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Ah. Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Solag. These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay, this is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall in any hurt. Hello, Zondar. Kiflam. Hi, or, uh, Kiflam. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zolak. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Yeah. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Sondar, nothing. I become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. Ready? For what? It is today and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You're nearly there. It's gonna cost a little time and effort, and then it's astral planes in 37,000 places. Kiflam! Kiflam! Come on! You've discovered great things! Kiflam! Brother, father, you now know we're not alone. Yeah, and you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me. There's people to worship and guide you to truth. Here. Welcome, Zondar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the tract here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today, I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm Four. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. 